Welcome to Ghost Watches, another Phasm Phasmophobia esque game that I've been enjoying. I enjoyed playing this. Um, the first time I heard about Ghost Watches is by a video of a YouTuber that was. Let me put it this way he really disliked this game. And some points of him was true that the developers basically. Um, just copy paste unity assets and but that you know the what this game has is uh, the entities the ghost entities are quite unique and quite detailed you know the phasmophobia ghost you know, it's kind of like a boring entity, you know, nothing much to it, but these entities really do have something to it. And what I also enjoy is that, you will see it also once I uh, start the game, is that uh, there is no actual ghost room where you have to put all your equipment and hope that ghost does something. It still has this kind of thing where you have to gather evidence and you just dump stuff on the ground and hope that the ghost will interact with it. And I hope that the developer will change that a little bit because that is some point of improvement. But in the end, I like how it doesn't really have a ghost room. So uh, to get the evidence, you have to be close to the ghost where the ghost is roaming uh, instead of just going to a room, you know. And it can be all over the house because usually the ghost is just wandering around all over the house. And what I also uh, really like is how the visibility of the ghost is managed. In the beginning it's not that visible, except if you have a ghost event, but sooner or later, once you start doing your tasks, uh, it becomes more visible. It's, it kind of phases in and out of visibility, and I really like that because it can really get scared you because suddenly it's there walking to watch you but it's not hunting because it's just walking around and then the hunts are also quite something else but that's not what I'm gonna spoil I'm gonna show you so yeah definitely room for improvement the first thing that I really want to see improved is the way you uh, deal with the Ouija board, the food doll, and the radio. Because uh, to determine the ghost age and ghost mood, you need these kind of uh, things to throw on the ground and hope that the ghost interacts with it. But it can get quite stale because you just have to wait until it interacts with it, you know. I rather see it changed into like that you use it as something that you as an item. Once you're near the ghost, you know, only you can only use it if the ghost is really near to you, and then the ghost can decide, okay, doesn't do anything, maybe can it just at that point doesn't do anything when you try to use the Ouija board or the food doll on the, the place where the ghost is roaming, or it can get irritated, maybe hunt, maybe not hunt, I don't know, or it will then start interacting with it, and then you can get your evidence, something like that. So, so not just dumping on the ground and just looking at it, but rather just, you know, having unlimited uses of it, of course. But then just uh, try to use it near the ghost, and then one of those three things can happening can happen. Nothing can happen, or it starts to become irritated, and you know, does a ghost event or hunt, or it actually interacts with it and you get your evidence. I think that would be more interesting. And also. Uh, something regarding the hunts I would also like to change but I will do that later on and also if you are I would say lucky you know you have ghost events and then once you see the ghost you can immediately know which kind of ghost it is you know so maybe that should also be changed so it's kind of like a mix of Phasmophobia and Obsidio. I think this one is better than Obs. 5. Okay, you might have 5. Minus 14. Okay. I think this one is better than Obsidio because the problem I had with Obsidio is the way how to determine a ghost. 
and how to exercise it it's kind of you know uh too complicated because you have to look at all these small things about uh small interactions you know so what do we have we have that we have the drowned okay so now this next part uh, starts is determining the mood and the age of the ghost which can be done with these things and what normal people do is they just dump these on the ground and wait until the ghost starts interacting with it because that's what you can do you can just wait you have to wait until the ghost starts interacting with it to determine its age And that can be quite lame. I will show you another thing what we can do. You now determining its particle. The particles. It's not radiation. Yeah, maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, 100 to 500. Somewhere around here. Okay, so particle. It's close I never I don't know if this one actually has voice recognition I haven't tried it yet are you here uh. can you speak I don't know the commands as well are you close? Where are you? I come to catch you. I don't know. I think there were some commands. I just not once ensure. Uh, yeah, okay. Now nah, that's why it didn't work. Oh. <laughs> It was like, ah, got him. <laughs> right, I just walk around again. So, let's hope it's now correct. Can you speak? Where are you? I am friendly. How old are you? I don't know. You know what? I should Google that. Are you close? I am friendly. Are you friendly? Where are you? Hmm. So here's the thing. You just have to wait until it interacts with all of it. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> right, um, so it's either young or average. Open all doors, I'm not bothered by that. Ghost mirror, irritated ghost. A ghost attack. Wow, ooh, interesting medicine. Um, so, what I mean is, uh, with Having the doll, the Ouija bot and the, well, not the radio, I suppose, but the doll and the Ouija bot to act like, uh, hello there. So it kind of act like how this ritual dagger works. Like if you do it in, it's sometimes doesn't interact with it at all. But sometimes you can get irritated with it and basically it would appear basically. It's kind of like a summoning circle of phasmophobia. Okay, that's not good. Here I was very lucky. 
Let's get that out of you. <laughs> so that was a a hunt, basically. So there are three things that can happen. Nothing. Or are two other things, but I'm gonna, not gonna spoil it, spoil it. I have to bring this one to the to get that. Right. So now it's just a waiting game of Okay, it's throwing it up and going back and forth. So okay, so raises a food dog calm and from side to side. Okay, so we have to do this. Holy water, five taps, golden bomb, close out water taps and holy salt. Maybe I'll show next. Uh, so first, holy water. Let's see. Holy water. Sometimes I need to, and some you just use, others you don't have to use, you just have to have in your hand. What does protect against the ghost? Salt, so I'm gonna bring some salt with me as well just to be sure. Right, so what I have to do is open tabs, try to reach all those achievements. Okay, so it's hunting. Right, okay. Oh my god. That is something that never happened to me before yet. Because it wasn't hunting. Right, I still haven't gotten that uh, achievement, <laughs> so let me just buy another salt. Like it grabbed me, even if it wasn't hunting. Interesting. Was it maybe because I was walking into it? I don't know. Feel. Shouldn't turn too much on, or else I'm gonna get confused by turning it all off again. Because I have to turn them all off again. So there we are. I don't know what to do with them yet, so... Alright, uh, I still have to do my first option. Come on. I still don't quite know what determines for the ghost to get you or not, and for nothing to happen. Maybe the proximity. Once the ghost 
start hunting depending on the proximity of where you are I suppose uh, what I really the 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 ghost I enjoy the most is the found I find the most creepy is the um, the darkness <laughs> it does some crazy shit that's for sure well Right, great. No. Okay, it's close. You can hear it's close. So probably. Right, and now. Five taps done. Golden bomb. Okay. Now I have to close all taps. Yay. See, it starts to become more visible in what it's doing you know it's just going around it's really interesting and I really enjoy the uh, entities more of the ghosts than of uh, phasmophobia entities are really boring <laughs> you know I have to close them all salt this is normal salt holy salt so I don't cross all water taps right <laughs> I should have done that yeah true well, well whatever I will perhaps or perhaps not no no I'm not gonna risk the only thing I have to do is this Coming, see? And now it's time to grab it. So that is. So I think, depending on your proximity to the ghost. Either because it's too far away, it does it, nothing happens once the, uh, the hunt commences, or um, if it's not too close, it starts to run towards you. That is the most creepy part of it. And when it's closest to you, it just does that jump scare. So I think also the second thing that developers should uh, build upon is the second thing. The part where the ghost starts running towards you because it's not in close enough to, for you for it to just jump scare you, and you know it starts to chase chase you basically, and that is the most scary part of the hunt, not the jump scare, you know, but that. So I think the developer should build upon that and the fact that the Ouija board and the food at all uh, are a bit dull, dull at the moment, in which you have to just throw it on the ground and then wait until it's interact, rather something. What I will show you now, um, you know, to be more like an item like the ritual dagger where you have to use it close to the ghost and then you get either nothing, it becomes irritated so it can do a ghost event or even hunt or it will interact with it and then you have your um, evidence. So yeah. So let's see if I can find... Um, can I can showcase the Richard deck a bit better, I understand, because I, last time I didn't do shit. And also what I, I get sometimes annoyed about by phasmophobia now is uh, buying equipment. You, you can buy equipment, but you have all, all the time your equipment. But uh, I like this system because you know, for example, the golden bomb or stuff that you have to use against the ghost or against the ghost. You can actually miss. 
you can actually miss and then it's gone and then you have to buy a new one so i think that is the better way of managing that anyway time to find me ghost ghost mirror i should remember that okay Right, okay. You have a five and then So we have EMF level f this and level five is the Jiang Shi. Right, and now we do this again. until this thing is 100% Let's see, let's see. Uh, do I need to uh, video? All right, that I can do. Let's hope this one will do a bit better. We just have to find. So we can see better. <laughs> All right, I suppose I can also have them. I will buy one more and see what happens. When you hear that, you know it's spawned. <laughs> it's spawned somewhere. I just irritate the hell out of it. Wait. It's close. Let's see? That's what else you can happen when you do that. It starts to appear, which I find interesting. But it can also, in later stages, hunt. It can also irritate it so much that, you, that it will hunt. Right. Well, we still have to wait until that evidence comes to light. So let's do other stuff. Levitating objects and I need that mirror. And now we have to. I don't want to open all those. I don't I have to wait until it starts to interact with these things. And that is the waiting game that should be improved, in my opinion.
But still, so far, I've been enjoying this. Because it doesn't require a microphone to complete, like, phasmophobia. Yeah, so now you basically have to wait. You do have other things, though. Okay, it's close, it's wandering around. Right, I mean, these things you can buy. There are several things that you don't have in your truck that you can buy. What the hell? Okay, it's going nuts, see? That means that the Ouija board was rather, it's an ancient one. Now we have to determine its mood. So the ghost age, it does sometimes differ like young average senior. I never had young, but the ghost mood, I never had aggressive or haunting. It was always a calm or concerned. Maybe that is a should I maybe those aggressive and haunting are only reserved for the ghosts that are unlocked once you level nine. Let's see because you know why not. These ones basically stop the ghost from haunting, I think. Um, so you have camera with motion sensor, so they will always point towards where the ghost is. Maybe it's useful. Danger detector, not that useful. It just says when the ghost is ready to hunt, but. Once, you, when, once it's ready to hunt, you already know that it's hunting. Let's see how this one works. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Could be nice. Interesting. So it basically points out where the ghost is, isn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can always escape a hunt by running out uh, outside. Thinking this one is the most useful of the detectors, though. Oh no! Okay, let's see. Salt will work. That's why it's always good to have no salt with you. If that happens and then start hunting, it's better too. Alright, okay, it's moving now. Okay, that is crying. I never had growl, you know. Is that a common concern? Now I can start, you know. So it's it's usually the same, except for the end. So holy fire, holy salt, curse mirror, salt, fire, salt, withering light, or I have a silver bomb, fire, salt, and withering light. So it's either salt. Or 
silver bomb. So let's start. Holy fire and holy salt. Okay. Let's see if it immediately catches me or starts running towards me. Okay, it's running. Okay, I just actually wanted to check if I was actually faster than the ghost or not. See, that was a miss. So my fire shot is now gone. Uh, holy salt, yeah, but I need my. Oh, oops, I, well, I got the wrong one. This is holy salt, but I still need my fire salt, so I have to buy it. So that is what I prefer, like the most about this, because you can basically get hundred uh, percent without having to buy stuff and without risking losing stuff and having to rebuy it like phasmophobia. But if you do it wrong, you have to buy it again, which is interesting. So unfortunately, you cannot see now. It wasn't near, or at least seeing me. So it wasn't going with the hunt. Okay, it's doing something. Miss. This is also one thing <laughs> from from it. Don't miss. <laughs> the best way. To not miss is to get caught by a hunt. Interesting. That one is finito. The only thing that I still need is to determine when it's Calm or concerned by the, looking at the food at all, but I'm not even sure if that's gonna do anything. Right, it didn't catch to get. <laughs> At least I have this one. Because <laughs> these things are, I suppose, the most dangerous. Where is he? Still have to figure out but it interacts with this or not. What was it? Maybe upstairs, yeah. Right, okay. All I need to catch me anyway, so. It's coming. So, so you can't outrun it. The, I just wanted to test that, but I tried and I couldn't outrun it. Salt, yeah. Okay. I need to do this. What 
so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a difference in here, right? It was either salt or silver bomb. So I can do both. There's one way to determine. You know, you don't have to wait for this stupid food to do something because sometimes it doesn't do jack shit. And then you think, ah, it, you know, it does say here it doesn't interact and it's concerned, but no, it just interacts with it, but, you know, it hasn't done it yet. So at this point, it's where it's different. So it's either silver bomb or salt. Let's get ready. I do silver bomb first. Silver bomb. Okay. So we know that it is a concerned one and that it doesn't interact with the food at all. So what we now have to do is fire salt and withering light also one other thing withering light don't always use it in the beginning because i need another one now to catch this dude so i need to buy one withering light so expensive. all right so first i'll just catch it with this do the fire salt thing and then withering light. This one is the most useful. I tried the ca camera, uh, field camera with the um, uh, motion sensor, but I kind of it does point th the same way. But I just like this visualization of where it is, you know, rather than the camera just randomly pointing towards something. Did you see that down up there? Uh, the darkness uh, entity really has some of the scariest kind of like moments with that you suddenly see it just passing by and that you know? oh all right So it's not, not always so straight up, you know? But I really have been enjoying this. <laughs> 